walk with me. Keep my feet on those high places. Lord, give me high feet to climb in those high places. Give me feet to climb on the rocky cliffs so high. Lord, let me soar on wings, on wings like the eagle. Lift me high in your spirit. Lift me up above the mountains and give me hands, feet to climb. Oh, high places. Lord, lift me up above the roar of the crowds. Desperation, Lord, when they sink with fear around me, let me keep my eyes on you. Yes, Lord. When it seems like I am losing, when it seems all is lost, Lord, remind. that we're facing now let me have the feet to climb on the rocky mountains so high Lord let me soar I can fly on wings like an eagle and lift me high Lift me up above the mountains. Give me hands, feet to climb all our places. Lord, let me keep my eyes on you. Because there I know I can find my peace and the world can't take it away. I trust your hand to keep me through it all. When I think that I will fall, you keep my feet in place. And I can run on those mountains steep. And I can be swift to run to keep your word and I'll find strength to obey you Lord Lord give me high speed to climb in high places hallelujah Lord give me feet that can climb on the rocky cliffs of high Wings like an 
Lift me high in your spirit, high above the mountains. Let your spirit carry me. God, I need that strength to be able to stand. Give me high speed. Give me high speed. Give me feet that can run on high places. High speed on high places. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, God. You know, it just seems like it is getting so hard to to go. But you know, we can't listen to what the world is saying. We got to keep our ears tuned in to the Lord. And that's where we'll find peace. That's where we'll find joy. And that's where we'll find hope. And that's where we can overcome if you don't keep your heart in his word and your mind tuned in to listen to his voice, then you'll be destroyed. You know, God gives us hinds feet to climb. The hinds are those little goats. I'm sure you've seen maybe videos of them. Little bitty goats and they just, from the time they're, they first begin walking, They can just jump around on these steep cliffs that are right straight up and down. And this picture comes from the Word of God. And God says it in His Word that He will give us feet like hinds feet so that we can climb on the high places. You know, we don't have to be struggling to make it. We don't have to be so down that it seems like we're just at any minute going to be destroyed. We can be the light that this world needs. And the only way we can do that is if we get the victory over the things that we're going through. And God can give us that victory. God can give us the strength to overcome. God can give us that knowledge in His Word on how we can rise up above these things. God is going to keep His children. We're held in the palm of His hands. And what is it that you find in the palms of Jesus' hands? It is the scars, those nail prints, where He hung there for you. And the Bible says this, that that you are engraved in the palm of his hands. He will keep his children. He loves his children. And even though these things are coming on the world as a whole, the victory can be found in the Lord. And then when we find this victory and we rise up and the world sees us climbing up all those cliffs and we're just running and we're skipping and we're, we're just having the victory in the Lord, then they'll see and they'll look and say, how do you do that? How are you keeping the victory in this time? How, why are you not afraid? See, fear is just taking people so, so down. And there's so many people that are getting destroyed by fear. But when they see that you don't have any fear, then they'll say, I want that. I want that. I want that. And they'll come to know the Lord through the light that you're showing them. Because you're up there on those mountain cliffs, skipping and running on those high places. God can enable you to do that. He promises the victory in His Word. And we can have the strength to climb on high speed in high places. You know, I'm reminded of when the plagues came against Egypt. If you remember that, Moses went to Pharaoh and he said, Let my people go, and Pharaoh refused to. And then God would send a plague against them. I remember frogs was one plague and and sores and all these kind of things the, the rivers turned to blood but every time that one of those plagues hit Egypt God kept his people in the land of Goshen his people were slaves in, and they kind of lived in the land of Goshen 
And those plagues did not come near their dwellings. And even the one, the one that is most amazing to me, God sent darkness. And it was so dark that the Egyptians couldn't even get up from their seat. And I forget how many days that it was. But they had to sit still in their seat because it was so dark they couldn't even move from the place where they were sitting. But the Bible says, but in the land of Goshen, there was light. You know, God will take care of his people. Listen to him. Obey him. He'll lead you in to those pastures green by still waters. I've had God to do that to me many a times. When it seemed like I was about ready to lose it all. When I, when it seemed like that everything was just going to crash down. Everything we'd been working for. Different times those things would happen. And, and when it seemed like all was about ready to be lost. Then God would move in amazing way. And just lift us up right out of it. Lift us up right over it all. And he'd give us the hind's feet to climb in those high places. God can keep you. And he will keep you. If you just honor him. Love him. Live for him. You can't be double minded on this thing. The days of being double minded. The days of being a hypocrite is over too. You know, you can't say that you're serving God and living like the devil anymore. That ain't going to work. That's not going to cut it. You know, if that's how you're being and that's how you're living, you are not going to find those hinds feet to climb on high places. But you will sink and you will be destroyed in all the muck and mire of this old world's mess. Because that's where you choose to live. But if you ask God and you repent of those things and you say, God, I don't want to live this way anymore. I want to find this victory in you. I want to find this love that can keep me above the storms. I want to find this everlasting love that I can depend on and that I can trust in. And if you come to that place and you repent and you say, God, I want to give up my mess that I'm in. I know what sin is. You know, sometimes we we fool ourselves that it's okay what we're doing. But oh my, it's not. If, If it's messing your life up, get real. Get real with this thing. You know what sin is in your heart. And God can deliver you out of that. Just ask Him to give your heart and your life to Him. Yield it to Him. Yield to His will and yield to His way. And He will take your hand and He'll lift you up. And you'll be running on those rocky cliffs. Just like those little hinds. Just like those little goats can do. You'll be running on high places. Not on low places. Not down in the deepest valley of despair. Not down in the valley of fear. Not down in the valley of loss. But he'll raise you up to climb up on the mountains. And you'll be skipping with hind's feet up above it all. God will keep you. God will keep you. You can have light in your house. Even when everything around you seems like it's just filled with so much darkness. God can give you light. Children of God, raise up your hands. Raise up your head. You serve a God that is able to keep you. He will raise you up. He'll raise you up. Don't be defeated. Don't give in to fear. But get your word out. And read it. And take it in your heart. And take it in your spirit. And take it in your mind. Let God's spirit come and give you his strength. God's spirit is such a wonderful thing. He can just fill you up with victory and fill you up with peace and fill you up with hope and fill you up with joy. And those things are in short supply out there in the world. But my, 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 God's presence, there's no shortage of those things. And you can bask in His presence. And He can just love you and hug you up to Him. He can enable you to stand with a strength that is supernatural. And you'll be doing things that you never dreamed possible if you'll just obey Him. And you can climb all those rocky cliffs so high. And you can run and skip 
all high places. Amen, amen. Lord, give me hands, feet to climb. Lord, on your high places, give me the feet I need to climb on the rocky cliffs so high. Lord, let me soar on wings, on wings like an eagle. Lord, lift me up in your spirit. Lord, draw me close to you. Lord, I need your peace and hope and love. Lord, I need your joy. Wrap me in your arms and give me hands, feet to Thank you, Lord. 